Hey YouTube, this is part video of the SureCall Fusion to Go 3.0. This is their cell phone booster. I just got it installed in the truck. When I say it's a very simple installation, it is so simple. You just plug it in and that's it. Really, I'm fixing to show you. Uh, well, first things first, I wanted to show you how everything hooks up and uh, how I've got everything run. The first things first is I have uh, put the antenna right there in the middle of my back windshield there on the very top. You can see it. It's just right there sticking up. It's a little three inch antenna and uh, it's mounted with just uh, the magnet that's mounted on the bottom of the antenna and it holds it in place. And then I took and I've run the wire just across right through here and it comes down on the inside of the door. And when you close the door, the wire is so small, it just conforms and it pushes that weather stripping in right there. It's not going to hurt it. And besides, not a lot of people get in and out of the back of this truck anyways. And I thought it was really funny. There's like a little um, loop right here on the back of this seat. I'm not real sure what it's for. I guess it might be uh, how the seat folds down. I don't know if it does or doesn't. I ain't never folded it down, to be honest with you. And uh, anyways, I just run that cable through the through the little loop right there and run it down the back of the seat and you can see that I it just I've got it curled up and zip tied right in there and uh, I've got it going right into the uh, I'm sorry it goes right into this side where it says outside antenna I've just got it plugged in right there and then for the the power cable I have the power cable uh, plugged in right here but then I've got the extra wire looped up right in there and I run the wire right up underneath the floor mat along with the other uh, inside antenna. They both run, run right up under the floor mat and you can see right there, there's one wire comes out and it goes right up here to the 12 volt uh, plug, the cigarette plug. And like I said, when the ignition's turned on, the, that power source right there turns on and when I turn the ignition off then it turns itself off so every time I start the truck and and I'm going down the road I have uh, a boosted cell phone signal now the far, as far as the inside antenna I have the wire run up underneath the floor mat on the other side of the console because that's you know I'm always going to be driving and uh, I'll take you around the other side and I'll show you how I've got it mounted up but I've just got this little booster sitting right here and uh, I've got there's this little bitty flat spot I'll let you see right there and it just sits right in there all nice and neat and you got your wires all tucked up out of the way and uh, it's no problem it's able to get ventilation and probably what I'll do is take and put some little um, pieces of velcro down on that carpet to hold it to keep it from sliding and that should hold it in place but uh it's got plenty of room around it so it can breathe and you know if it does get warm then it'll it'll be fine and i'll take you around the other side and show you the antenna that i have mounted for the inside all right guys we're in the truck right now and uh, i just wanted to show you how i've got it uh the inside antenna set up uh first things first uh they they it comes with a a little clip here that mounts to the vents the air conditioning vents and don't worry it's rubber so it won't scratch your vents up and uh, tear them up or anything so you can mount it that way or you can take this little panel antenna and it has a little adhesive strip on the back and uh, there's a piece of uh, velcro it's kind of hard to do this one-handed but you can see it's just a piece of velcro and so you can mount this anywhere and what I've done so far is I've cleaned this little area right here beside the gear shifter with some alcohol. And I'm thinking about just mounting that uh, panel antenna right in there. Uh, I'm trying to debate whether I want it there or if I want to mount it right up here to the vent. I haven't decided yet. So I've, I'm going to play around with it uh, for the next couple days and try to figure out which is going to be best for me. And... Uh, Anyways, guys, um, it's hard to test it because I'm filming with my phone, but I, I did test test it out before and after. I just can't do it while I'm filming. Um, out here outside, uh, 
while I'm in my truck, I I can only get maybe 114, 113, 115 dB. It fluctuates. I get just a little bit of signal, and then it goes out. A little bit of signal, then it's out. But I'm never able to get on the internet. If I do, it's just for a split second, and then it just stops moving. Like I said, I'll get on Facebook, and uh, it just won't load the page. And so, anyways, uh, I installed the uh, SureCall booster up underneath the back seat and got everything run. And uh, I can take the phone and just uh, set it right here on the, the panel antenna real close to it. And my signal went from, you know, horrible to like 187. So it went from, you know, 112, 13, 14, 15 to 87 to 90 roughly it fluctuates just a, a few db and so guys um i really like the install because it's so simple uh you know literally when you just turn the vehicle on it turns on and you don't never have to worry about flicking this little switch here in the back you know if you wanted to you can but you know if it's not drawing power it's not going to bother me and besides this thing only um pulls i believe it's 10 watts of power so, uh, anyways, guys, this has been another great product from SureCall. I'm very happy with them. They're very knowledgeable. And uh, check them out at SureCall.com. And, <laughs> guys, if you're experiencing drop calls, uh, get it. If you're experiencing slow internet, get it. If you camp and go to remote locations where the you don't know about the signal and you don't want to be out there without a phone, get it. And uh, I can't wait to try out this uh, omnidirectional antenna at a later date i did try it in the house and it works great but uh you know if i'm out camping or something and i want to pull the the antenna out of the vehicle and just set it somewhere where i can get better signal uh while i'm camping i want to be able to sit out in a chair and get on my phone and uh, get on the internet or whatever this is a great solution to that uh, and all you got to do is just unplug the uh the inside antenna and just screw this one in its place and then just set the booster outside like i said you've got plenty of extra cord and so anyways guys check it out very very simple install and uh i won't keep rambling uh, just go check it out talk to you later please like and subscribe my channel